in this DIY do-it-yourself episode of the Dr. Clay Show, I'm going to show you how to build a strong base before you start the rest of your resistance training and why that is so important. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Dr. Clay Show. I'm your lovely and talented host, Dr. Clay Hyde. Now, before I head in here and do some, uh, we're ready to do a little DIY stuff, as the phrase goes. You know, we uh, abbreviate everything these days, do-it-yourself stuff. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to attempt to build a uh, set of bunk beds, actually. And you probably most of you don't know that one of my initial jobs or uh, like job training type things, actually as a carpenter, that's right, in the Army, I was actually a carpentry and masonry specialist, 51 Bravo. So anyway, so I'm gonna put those uh, carpentry masonry skills to the test and see if I can build a set of bunk beds. But as I was doing it, I, uh, I was sketching out the plan, doing my little uh, blueprints. They were actually great because I was using a pencil. But as I was sketching out these uh, little prints, yeah, I started realizing how important the base is, the base of support for the bunk beds. And that made me realize that I need to share with you guys how important building a strong base is to your body. And I was talking with one of my friends, old clients the other day, and we were talking about how he's having some shoulder problems and on and off some lower back problems. So there are three areas that I want to hit real quickly regarding uh, areas that regarding our body that we need to make sure that we have um, nice and strong and a nice stable base so to speak a base of support before you start trying to uh, get too carried away with building the rest of your physique and by the way pardon me for having my sunglasses on I know it's, maybe I'm looking kind of gangster but I, uh, it's just way too bright I have sensitive eyes so pardon me if it seems rude but okay so the three areas that I want to talk about we'll start at the top and that's your shoulder. Most people's shoulder, my prop is about to roll away. Actually, it's not a prop. Just need this to go get my uh, bunk bed material. All right, so regarding the shoulder, most people's shoulder, this is internal rotation and this is external rotation. Most people's shoulder is strong in internal rotation, but weak in external rotation. And what happens then is when we start doing lots of overhead presses and lateral raises and stuff to build up our shoulders cosmetically, they tend to function improperly and not have a good balance of the four rotator cuff muscles. And then that can lead to shoulder impingement things like uh, my buddy the other day that I was talking to. So the key here in building a stable base of support for the shoulder is to focus on strengthening your external rotators like this and de-emphasize working on the internal rotator. And that will help build you a strong base regarding your shoulder complex. Next up is, our, is the low back region. What we tend to have, we tend to all have something called lower cross syndrome. And when I say tend to, it's like percentage wise, most of us have it. And that's characterized by weak abdominals and weak glutes, which allows our pelvis to rotate anteriorly. And you end up with too much of an arch in your back. And that can cause a lot of low back problems. Another friend of mine I was talking to the other day having very similar uh, problems and she's not doing the rehab that it takes to get it better over time. The way you do that, by the way, is to strengthen your abdominals, strengthen your glutes, and then uh, focus on the flexibility of your hip and your uh, lower back. So you want to strengthen your abs, glutes, and then lengthen, so to speak, your low back and your hips. And that will give you, that will literally give you a good spinal base so that your pelvis is not tilted too far forward and your you've got a nice, strong, stable base of support for the rest of your body to uh, rest upon and move upon. Lastly, it's similar along the same lines. It has to do with strengthening the glutes. And it is that regarding our base, a lot of people's legs tend to go in and they tend to have weak glutes and their knees toe in like this. The knees tend to buckle in and that comes largely from having weak glutes. So if you strengthen your glutes, 
it will help to externally rotate your knees and your legs will therefore provide a better and more properly aligned base of support for your pelvis and the rest of your body. So, I would highly encourage you before you get too caught up in the cosmetics of your physique, and I'm all about that, that's my passion and expertise, but before you get too caught up in the aesthetics of your physique and just you know focus on building more and more muscle and losing more and more fat, it is important that you stop and address the uh, muscular balance so that you end up with a good stable and safe physique because it all comes down to this really who cares if we have weak this or that or tight this or that we just want to look a certain way and we want to be healthy but the problem is if you don't address these things that i talked about it is literally like going in here and buying a bunch of material to build something but build it on the sand for example and you have to build whatever it is you're building you've got to take time you want to build it on a rock on a sturdy foundation you don't want to build it on the sand but that's the same with your physique. If you don't address these things that I'm talking about, it will be like you're trying to build your physique on sand instead of on good solid ground. So, all right, my friends, speaking of that, I need to get in here and I need to get these bunk beds built. So I'm gonna strengthen my glutes and push on that.